Yeah, what up, y'all? Speak the Weaver from the Drop a Gem Show, the most infamous hip hop and boxing podcast on the planet. Yo, real quick before this video drops, I just want to let y'all know we need y'all to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell icon. Subscribe because you want to know what's going on with the channel and be part of the Drop a Gem family. The bell icon notifies you immediately when we have a video dropping and we drop several a week. And also hit the like button because it increases the visibility of the show. So we thank y'all for your support. Uh, again, hit the subscribe, like, bell icon, and uh, we we'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Very creative, man. Yeah, you know, rest in peace again, Sean Price. But you had him dressing up as the crazy looking doctor, and you know, you uh, laying on the couch and, and all that, right? You know what I'm saying? Talk about that because that kind of creativity in hip hop really don't exist anymore. You don't see those red man buster type type of joints anymore, man. Um, talk about that. Do you think there's still a place for that in hip hop, and and why do you don't think we see that in hip hop anymore? I mean, you gotta ask the people who control hip hop. That's not a question for me because we gonna make this right. shit all day. People, yeah, but I'm gonna make what I want to make. But most people right. want to make what they think is going to sell or what they think is going to get played, and right. it's that's. The people who control what plays is the people, you know right. what I'm saying? Those are the people who, who control the game. Who controls hip-hop? Nah. Who controls hip-hop? Yeah. That's a good question. Don't nobody control <laughs> yeah. hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, the, the, but, but, the, but fucking white America controls the hip-hop industry, though. The Jews. I'm probably going to get banned for saying that shit, but I'm going to keep it up. I'm just saying that, I mean, it is, it is what it is, because I don't, because you got to understand, like, I'm, I, I'm in a privileged position of not giving a fuck. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I don't care. Like, I've been in the game as long as I've been in the game, and, I've been, and you know, I've been kicked in the chest by the game, and I ain't dead yet. You know what I'm saying? I still make records. I ain't fucking, I, could, I still have the ability to make money in the game. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if right. I don't have no money, I just feel like I need... If, if my money low, I feel like I need to right. hustle harder. It's not exactly. like I feel helpless in the situation. You understand what I'm saying? So, right. whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really give a fuck. I mean, like, I've been in the game twenty over 20 years, and, you right. know what I mean? And, and, and I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm not, in, I'm not in immediate threat of jail because of financial problems. You understand right. what I'm saying? So... Whatever you know, what I'm saying you, they can do and they can block and do whatever they want. I'm gonna still do right. what I do anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in a pri right. I'm in a, pri a privileged position to not give a fuck because most people have to. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And, and a, then yeah. and then I've watched the game enough to know that really though it it, it it's it don't you. It's tricky, in my opinion. Like the trickiest, right. the, the the trickiest part of the whole shit is the fact that people think that they have to be like the next nigga. Yeah, that's the that's the greatest trick. That that's the greatest trick they ever pulled off. You know what I'm saying? Like right. somebody, somebody, something comes out and it's hot, and then everybody wants to do it. You understand what I'm saying? When Everybody else, I mean, you know, some of you niggas might get a hit record, you know what I'm saying? Right. But most of you niggas are not going to get longevity doing that shit. You understand what I'm saying? No, right. yeah, I mean, you have artists sitting around talking about they can't do this, I can't use substance, I can't, I, I rap too fast, or I rap too this, or I rap too hard, or I rap... And then you, and then all you gotta, then you just look around, and you, if you look long enough, you see somebody doing and excelling at the exact same shit you think you can't do. It's a fact. It's a fact. Yo, Rock, um, you talking about like, you know, you trying to sound like the next dude and all that. Like back in our era, because I think me and you were in the same age, I'm in my early forties. Like back in our era, um. You know, you were sounding like somebody else. You know, you might get seen for shit like that. Now it's like, you know, that's that's what is what is you know what's supposed to be and shit. Talk about yeah. that a little bit, man. Biting, biting was a taboo back then. Now, now that shit is like, what the fuck you supposed to be doing and shit? Like, like, like you know, what I'm saying, talk about that. Man. Those niggas, is, that shit is, you know, what I mean, like that shit is, it's different now. You understand what I'm uh, saying? And it it just, it just is. Am I am I going to do that shit? Nah. nah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I rap, yeah, I, rap I mean, I come from, like, like, this is the thing. I know how to rap. 
anything I like, I can do as far as right. Right. If I like it, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? If it makes sense, I will do it. But if it don't, right. I'm not. And you know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's just that simple. Like, I feel like niggas should do what they want to do. And right. if you penalize for it, then that, look, you're free to do what you want to do. You, you're just not free from the consequences of what you do. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So if you want to bite, then bite. But when, right, people right. Call, when people run up on you, if somebody run up on you and they hurt your feelings because of it, then your feelings just hurt. That's what it is. 